Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Michelle Nelson taking a look at your regional forecast. What a rainy day out there. Very poor driving conditions if you are heading throughout southern Ontario. In Font Hill, a shot of the green yard, but rainy conditions coming down on the back deck. And Ben, thank you for sending that in. In terms of what we are looking at on our radar right now, we are just seeing on and off showers really pass through throughout Ontario, but we are going to see that next heavy band move in for this evening. So do keep that umbrella handy if you are heading out. In terms of just how much we're expecting, areas east and eastern Ontario, including Kingston, that's where we are expecting heavier amounts. Up to 35 millimeters is possible throughout the GTA and for southwestern Ontario. We're not expecting too much more 10 to 20 millimeters as we head into your Tuesday evening. Now today there was a ribbon cutting ceremony. Now if you are heading out again, cycling or walking, make sure you grab that umbrella or if you have the rubber boots handy, a good idea as we head through this evening and into the overnight period. We will start to see some breaks for the morning, even some sunshine poking through, but then throughout the afternoon we are expecting some pop-up showers through your evening throughout the GTA and southwestern Ontario as well. For your Wednesday, we will start to see that clearing trend and some sunshine is in your forecast. Toronto, your Tuesday morning, 17 degrees. And again, we will see some sunny breaks before we see those isolated showers push back in. For Hamilton as well, we are looking at some sunshine for your morning, but isolated showers throughout the day, 17. Thanks for joining us on this rainy Monday. I'm Michelle Nelson. For those of you out on the road right now, not the best driving conditions. Now we are seeing those on and off showers. Also looking at some wet weather continuing. It all depends on where you are. Here's what we are dealing with. Widespread rain throughout Ontario and that will continue through your evening hours and your overnight as well. Today not the best conditions but there is a ribbon cutting ceremony in downtown Toronto to celebrate a new bike lane. Now this or you could always throw the jacket over your head just in case but do remember that umbrella if you are heading out. We are looking at additional rainfall. Not too much more to worry about. However, for eastern Ontario, including Kingston and further east into Ottawa, right along the Ontario Quebec border, we are looking at heavier amounts. The heaviest south of the border, Kingston is included in that, where we could see up to 35 millimeters pass through. Now, for this evening, what we are looking at again, widespread rain right across Ontario. Two separate systems we're dealing with. The first one to the north bringing rain, and the second one delivering all that rain for us in the south. Not too bad of a day though, right in between for Timmins and Wawa. Actually a break there. Now we will see temperatures climb as we head into the middle of this week and we are looking at some sunshine for the GTA. A break for your morning hours on Tuesday, but come the afternoon and evening, more showers in store, just isolated showers, not too much to worry about. For your Wednesday, we are looking at sunshine, 21 degrees, temperatures climbing back up to seasonal as we head into your Saturday. We are looking at sunshine for your long range. Hamilton, the risk of seeing those isolated showers again as we head into your afternoon and evening. By Wednesday, some cloudy conditions, but temperatures again climbing into the mid to low 20s as we head into later in the week. For Barry as well, we are looking at sunshine for your Wednesday. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Michelle Nelson. Lots of active weather to talk about. Now, earlier on Monday, we had tornado warnings for both parts of Saskatchewan and also Manitoba. To give you an idea of what we were seeing, this is a shot from Salt Coats, and this was sent to us by Kevin Elmy. Thank you so much. Now, this is just southeast of Yorkton to give you a better idea of where that is in Saskatchewan. The funnel clouds coming out of the sky, very dark gray skies as well. Another shot to show you the funnel clouds coming out. This was sent from Bryce Derrick. Thank you so much for sending those photos to us here at the Weather Network. Also, stormy weather in Manitoba where we did have those tornado warnings that were in effect earlier on Monday. This is a shot just to show you the gray skies and to give you a better idea of the stormy weather that we were seeing. Here's a great shot, the hail coming down and in some areas larger than others. Now this is just coating the ground in Winnipeg. We've had work, you can find us there or you can head to theweathernetwork.com. We always have all of your viewer photos up on there. To give you a better idea of the hail though, here's a shot. I believe this is either a nickel or a dime, but the size of the hail just larger than that. Southeast of Winnipeg, we've had reports of loony to quarter size hail. So lots of it falling. 
And here's a tweet I want to show with you, share with you. Rob says, hail was hard enough to shred leaves and twigs in downtown Winnipeg. Mainly dime sized but lots of it. And he also sent in this photo with the leaves just covering the car. Hail, of course, not the best thing to deal with when you're driving. If you have any photos to send us, you can always upload them to theweathernetwork.com. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Nelson taking a look at your regional forecast. Quite foggy out there and rainy. That has been the story recently. And for how much more we are expecting as we head into your Tuesday, some areas could see another 20 millimeters for us in the GTA. East of that, Kingston and then south of the border, that's where they are picking up the bulk of the rain. Now, fair weather is always welcome during a Habitat for Humanity build. And once completed, weather can make or break a home. Here's Kasia Baderka. Playing in Chicago tonight, and it's so foggy out there that you can barely see the game. Now, this fog will stick in place as we head through the overnight pre dawn Tuesday as well, and those showers also sticking in place. Heading out for your Tuesday, a bit of a break, but by your evening, the risk of some more wet weather.